Hi, this is David, and um, I've never done a video like this one before. And <laughs> if the Danites get me or someone else does, I don't give a shit. You know that. I'm an atheist. Please <laughs> take me out of this misery of being with this group of people. I was just quickly looking. I, I now and then look at the, the nations that look at me. And um, most of them <laughs> are Aborigines and Africans <laughs> that live in darkest Africa. But anyway, I noticed that the Palestinian people um, are representative of uh, people who look at my videos. Now, I never want to be political. Uh, I'm not political. Uh, I think Romney <laughs> is a jerk. And uh, Mitt the Twit, I don't think he's going to win an election in a million years. I was born uh, in 1948. Uh, the dinosaurs are still here. And um, I had to keep dodging them. And uh, Israel was um, um, declared itself a state at that particular time and became... Uh, independent, I guess, of all the other uh, uh, countries around uh, its territory. Well, I was also, I graduated from high school in 1966, and uh, in 1967, uh, the Israelis um, had a seven-day war, and in that seven-day war, um, they captured and have held on to uh, Palestinian uh, territories ever since. Now, again, I'm not going to get into whether the Israelites are special people or God's chosen. Uh, if they're God's chosen, then they were chosen for the incinerators over there in Nazi Germany. I think they're just a group of people like the rest of us, and we've had some good times, uh, and so we've had some bad times. Now, here's what I want to say on this video, not to be political, but you know, when a country rises up, and I'm not just saying Israel, the United States certainly has done the same thing. The United States has enslaved the uh, Mexican people, especially uh, on our borders and in California, to pick our oranges and treated them like shit and um, have continued to uh, uh, underpay them and give them bad housing and uh, all kinds of atrocities, atrocities. So the United States is not out of the group that I'm speaking of. But for the Palestinian people to be occupied by Israel, I don't think is right. If Israel was sharing with the Palestinian people and making hospitals and roads and uh, water treatment centers and malls and um, schools, then I don't have a big problem with that. What I do have a problem with is, is rich countries like the United States of America and Israel um, continuing to build nuclear uh, forces. And uh, I'm not crazy about Iran having an atomic bomb uh, or North Korea. Those people are... are <laughs> I don't think they're more nuts than the Mormons. <laughs> I think the Mormons are number one. But they're a close second. I don't want them to have nuclear bombs because they're stupid ass people. They'll just throw them at somebody and before you know it, you know, we're all glowing red. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say uh, to the Palestinian people who do watch me that um, I have uh, a lot of sympathy and empathy for you. I don't think that Israel should have um, conquered your lands and I don't think that they should have tried to take over uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem, if it's a sacred city to the Jews, that's okay, but it's also sacred uh, to the Palestinians. And um, I don't know what the hell goes on in the um, the Wild West there, the um, the I uh, Iranians and, and the damn Iraq and th that whole Middle East. I don't know if there's just nobody that has a brain there or what. They've been in the on the earth a lot longer than the rest of us. You would think they could have smooth some of these things out over thousands and thousands of years living with each other, but they can't. And of course, it's all over religion. Religion, religion. We kill everybody that doesn't believe like us, and sometimes we're strong and sometimes we're weak, but we still kill everybody. 
So anyway, those of you that watch me uh, in foreign countries, um, and, and it seems to grow a little bit from what I'm seeing on my, my demographics, I want you to know that there are Americans like me um, that uh, I'm not against the Jews. I have uh, Jewish blood uh, back by my uh, great-great-grandmother uh, from Prussia. And so I'm certainly not speaking against my own heritage, um, but I am speaking against hatred. I am speaking about taking uh, advantage of other countries and other cultures. And uh, I am speaking against uh, war and the hatred that war brings no matter um, who you are, whether it's the Middle East or here in uh, the United States history. We're, we're not people with clean hands, the way we treated the Mexicans, the way we treated the blacks, the way we treated the Indians. Jeez, you know, if any of you read history, you know what the hell I'm talking about here. So anyway, those countries, um, I have some good friends down in Brazil and um, Russia and uh, the Middle East. I have um, Egypt and uh, Saudi Arabia and, you know, countries from all over the world. I just want you to know, as an American, I appreciate you. You are welcome uh, in my country. Don't bring any bombs. <laughs> no bombs. No, no. Don't bring bombs. <laughs> but most people and most um, cultures um, are good. And they have uh, the positive um, lifestyles that all of us want and need. So those of you that appear to might be minorities, I don't want you to think you're a minority. Um, I want you, whether you're in Guatemala or you're in Guam or you're in uh, other parts of the world, there's 140 countries that I have on my demographics. And I want you to know, as an American, I love you. You know, you want to come to my house, you come to my house, stay a couple of days, don't bring a bomb. No bombs. <laughs> I'm just teasing the hell out of you. I am. And I don't care what language you speak. I don't care what religion you bring. And um, now maybe headhunters. If there's any headhunters watching, my demographics don't say headhunters. <laughs> I have several in Africa, but I don't know. They could be headhunters, so they're not allowed to visit my house. But please, be aware that there are some of us Americans who are aware of you, that we're not just ethnocentristic, that we're the best and, and you've got to look like us, talk like us, and be like us. Um, when I was in the Philippines, there's no doubt that the Philippine uh, people, even though they're, they're dirt poor, are some of the greatest people I've ever met. They have more love and more harmony and more uh, family uh, love and closeness than the United States ever thought of having. They don't have eight cents a day to eat, but I'll tell you, you sit in their families and as an American you're a little embarrassed and ashamed uh, that we don't treat our own families that way. So those of you from all over the world, be aware, I'm aware, uh, that, that you watch and I appreciate that very, very much. I don't know if I ever help people or I don't. It helps me. It helps me to be part of the world community. And I hope that you feel free and welcome to make comments. Uh, you're going to find that my um, audience is a real audience. Some of them hate my guts. <laughs> Some of them, you know, would rather not click on me, but I'm addictive. <laughs> so they do. And then they put shit on my comments. So that's okay. So if you're from a foreign country, uh, I don't even mind if you want to comment uh, in your own language. Uh, please. You don't have to write English. If you want to comment on my... 